Hey guys, welcome back to Melvie Presents. Happy New Year, happy 2017. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few mind, body, soul type of things um, that I've been doing that's been helping me to stay focused and stay clear on my goals. And I felt, I felt this would be the perfect topic because it's a new year. We all like a fresh start, a new beginning. I felt like this would kind of set the tone for my first video in the new year. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is an accountability partner. So my friend and I, Char my friend Charlene and I, um, <laughs> My friend and I, Charlene, we actually started being accountability partners slash prayer partners slash everything partners. <laughs> we pray together and we pray for each other and we talk about our goals and what we're trying to accomplish, what we have accomplished in that week, what we didn't, what we need to work on. It's just a really safe space. So we meet once a week and we start with prayer and then we just go for it. Sometimes we're on the phone for 30 minutes, sometimes we're on the phone for two hours. We keep documentation of it in a Google Doc. Mm -hmm. Definitely when you have a goal or you have something that you're trying to accomplish, sharing it with another person and somebody that is going to um, push you in the right direction and check in on you, I feel that's very helpful. The second thing is a morning ritual, like something that you do every morning that kind of sets the tone for your day. So my morning ritual is I have a morning devotion where I read out of my devotional and I meditate for 10 minutes and I pray. So I find that meditating really just kind of helps me feel really calm and really relaxed and clears my mind. Meditation, I, I really enjoy meditating. I find when I meditate for 10 minutes, like maybe after four minutes, maybe five minutes, it's totally, my mind is totally quiet and I feel really still. So that's something that's really been helping me. And of course, prayer. Um, you know, I pray every day, night and day, talking to God and just staying in constant communication with God has really been helpful for me. Another thing that I do is journaling. I am a journal fanatic. <laughs> I have like five journals and I have different themes for my journals. I love journals. This is my devotional journal. Um, this is a journal where in the morning where uh, when I'm reading my devotional, thoughts that come to me, prayers, um, just any type of reflective thing. And then I have a wellness journal. This is my wellness journal. So basically what a wellness journal is, is it's a journal where you basically um, uh, note like what you're doing throughout the day. Like what time you go to sleep, what time you wake up, what are you eating, what is your mood, how are you feeling, different type of things like that. So it's kind of something you can always use to look back and say like, hey, this is working or this is not working. A goals and affirmation journal. I write all my goals and all my affirmations in this journal. Um, it's just definitely good to have your journal um, that you can just put all of your ideas, your affirmations, all of your goals. I also have a YouTube journal. <laughs> I just started that. So this is my YouTube journal where I write down like different topics, different things I wanna talk about in my video, my goals for YouTube. Definitely want to start being more consistent with my videos. So this journal, I'm so excited about. So last month, I came across um, this lady. She is the um, inventor of Curlbox, which is a natural hair like subscription box. And um, she has a website. And that's another thing. Like This is my third or fourth point podcast. That's something that I've been really consistently listening to so my leak she has um a podcast where she has a ton of podcasts about business entrepreneurship self-development i love her podcast she really has a lot of good wisdom a wealth of knowledge so she made this journal the hustle journal so this is like my career journal her website is mytachi.com i'll link it below that's something that i do consistently journaling I use journals for a lot of different things. This um, year, I'm gonna start reading a lot more. I do read already, but I'm gonna start reading a lot more consistently. Self-development books, I love them. It just makes me feel good. Definitely, um, reading is great. So those are like some of the things, okay? We have talked about accountability partner, morning ritual, uh, journaling, and reading. So those are some of the things that I've been doing that's kind of been helping me to stay consistent and stay focused on my goals. Um, some things that I'm working on this year is I've started working out more. That's really important to me because I 
don't want to like fall off or anything like that. <laughs> So I've been working out, um, eating better. I have been kind of changing my diet and being more aware of the things that I'm eating. Goals for this year, my goals are still the same when it comes to acting, national commercials, voiceover, print. It hasn't changed. This year my approach is gonna be different. I'll definitely share that along the way just to kind of let you guys know what's working and what's not working. Um, yeah, I feel like that is kind of an overview of some of the things that I've been doing. My focus for the new year, I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm really excited about the new year. I'm excited to make more videos and just kind of share my journey. Um, definitely, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye, happy new year.